Hey guys, it's me, the Dom from Nask, and welcome back to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today I have another PE battle here, but finally for you guys with a different team. The only Pokemon that has remained is my Torterra. I have bought my Hypno back, which I have used before, so you guys should be quite familiar with them sets. Uh, I've got a special attacking Life Orb Protean Frogadier, a Choice Scarfed Adamant, uh, what's his name? My lord, I've forgotten its name. The Axe Guy. Fracture, that's the one. Light Ball, a physical Pikachu, which you'll see uh, can surprise my opponent later on in this battle. And I do have a... Oh my, what is it? It's a Technician Nasty Plot Persian, which I haven't seen anyone use a Pokemon X and Y yet. So uh, hopefully you guys will uh, see this first. But my opponent has an interesting team too. Pokemon to note, Lombre is a powerhouse, as you'll see. That is a choice Scarf Mankey. He told me the day before what that thing done. I know it has final gambit, so I was quite scared. And uh, Wormadam I don't see too often, and that thing was definitely really weird. But we did disconnect after, I don't know, three turns in the first try. So the first three turns are pretty much us um, redoing our moves if they seem stupid to you. So if, it, if you seem it, it's stupid that he goes for the certain moves and I go for the certain moves. It's because it's what we've done the first time round and we're redoing it. Anyway, because he has a Wormadam in, I'm pretty sure he can't kill my Tilterra in one hit with any move he could possibly have. Um, I'm going to set up my rocks because that's going to be nice and handy, taking all his Pokemon down. Especially if he has a choice, choice Scarf Mankey because that thing is going to have U-Turn and it won't keep switching in. Now, even though it resists it, it's going to do some good damage if it keeps U-Turning. Anyway, um, he does Toxic me, which is annoying because it's my wall. Um, but I do manage to Toxic back his Wormadam, which is good because that's probably going to be a specially defensive wall. Because Wormadam's special defense is a base, it's like base 105, I think, which is actually quite high. It's a shame its HP is really low. It's like base 55. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see myself using a Wormadam soon. But it, it did kind of catch my eye in this battle purely because of the moveset. Um, my opponent, which I can't remember if I said his name or not. It's Luke LS93, so shout out to you guys, a uh, guy dude, rather. Anyway, I'm going to swap into my Hypno predicting the Psychic after he went for the first time. And that's the first three turns over, I believe, so now we can get stuff rolling. This is uh, what we didn't know it would happen. I go for the Protect, even if he wanted to switch, it wouldn't have probably too much. Um, but he just gave for the Toxic, trying to Toxic my wall. Um, I go for the Protect, so obviously he's going to get hurt a bit more by the Poison. And uh, at this point, I'm starting to think he'll want to switch because Poison is doing a lot of damage. So I'm going to swap back into Torterra, um, thinking in case he wants to Toxic again or switch. Torterra is probably the thing that I don't need the most. But here he goes for Leaf Storm. I don't even know Wormadan got Leaf Storm. Um, only the Grass variant gets Leaf Storm. Uh, I think the, the Ground one gets Fisher and the, the Bin one gets Iron Head. So. Yeah, it, it, it caught me off guard. I didn't know that this thing weren't Leaf Storm, so maybe you could see a Choice Specs set coming soon, guys. Who, who knows? Anyway, uh, yeah, Torterra is hurt by the poison, and this is not good, really. I mean, I, I don't want to lose Torterra, but I kind of have to, so I'm sitting here stalling out his toxic turns, um, even though I am going to go down to his own toxic turns. Honestly, after this Leaf Storm, I'm expecting him to want to switch because he's now at minus four and he can't do anything to me. Um, I never actually found out what his fourth move was, and I was kind of fearing it could be Rest because he doesn't seem too bothered that he's sitting here with poison on him. And um, I was waiting until he rested um, to switch because obviously he hasn't got Chest Area because we've seen his leftovers. So I was kind of waiting for that to happen, or even maybe a Synthesis. I don't know what he wanted to do. There we go for the Toxic, honestly thinking he's going to want to switch. He hasn't got anything that is immune to poison, I think. But he's at the stage now where his Leaf Storm's doing literally nothing. I think that's about 15 damage to me. So I'm, I'm really confident he's going to want to die. Uh, he's going to want to switch at the end of this turn. Well, no, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to stay in now at the end of this turn. He's waited too long because um, Toxic's like doing half damage to him or a third damage to him, whatever it does. So um, here I just go with the Seed Bomb, wanting to try and kill him before he goes for the rest. But he actually switches. And he goes into Golduck, and now this this looks like a completely pro play. Honestly, though, I had no idea he was going to do that. It, it just worked out perfectly because, as well as you'll find out later, this Golduck could have been a massive threat against my team. Um, luckily, I I seed bombed when I did because that really helped me out in this battle, guys. It made it so much closer than what it would have been because Golduck is such a threat in PU. 
Anyway, my opponent brings in Smash, which is his Mankey, and uh, he gets some rock damage off. Here he goes for the U-turn, which is super effective, and even though it's not stab, and Mankey isn't the strongest Pokemon, Torterra does go down. So it's not really that bad that Torterra's gone down. Um, he has still got... what's he got? He's got Mankey as a physical attack, but I can't remember what other physical attack he will have left. But um, yeah, in comes Wish Cash. This will probably be his other physical attacker. Uh, I, he was obviously waiting to bring this in as soon as my Torterra was gone, purely because this thing is weak to uh, Grass Quad Effect, uh, Quad Weak. Sorry. Uh, as you've probably seen, he's had a, he's got a Golduck, a Wish Cash, and a Lombre, and that that smells of rain to me. But I haven't seen anyone try and sell brain yet. Here I go for the Grass Knot, which is quite effective and stab after Protein. Um, Protein works out really well here for two reasons. One, I get stabbed. Two, I resist the earthquake. And now here I get too, a, a bit too, I would, I would say clever, but it's not really clever. I go for the Surf, and even after Life Orb and Stab, it doesn't take out this Wish Cash purely because it's not super effective compared to the um, Grass Knot. And if I'd have gone for the Grass Knot, I would have taken this thing out, and I wouldn't have been poisoned. And so, while Frogadier is chilling here at half health now, I could have taken this thing out and not been toxic, which would have been a lot nicer. I could have kept Frogadier around for a bit longer. But pretty much I'm just going to go for another Surf in case he wants to switch into his Mankey or, I don't know, anything. He could have bought in his Lombre. It's a really safe switch then. But he decided not to and decided to let his Wish Cash go down. And as you can see, Poison and a Life Orb are going to bring me down to the range where Mankey can come in and easily kill me, or most likely kill me with a U-turn. Um, none of my moves would make me resist Bug. Um, with protein, so I, I couldn't really do anything at this point, and he just goes straight for the U-turn and kills me. Now, I've always, I've, I've always known you shouldn't kill an opponent with U-turn or Volt Switch. I do it all the time, admittedly. But if you kill someone with U-turn or Volt Switch, your opponent immediately gets the switch advantage because you have to send in a Pokemon um, after you U-turn, and then the turn ends. Um, luckily for him, though, he has Wormadam that's dead, so that means we can now both bit both bring in Pokemon at the same time uh, and I want to bring Pikachu in because I know I have knockoff so I'm going to knock off whatever he brings in but he or knock off the item of whatever he brings in but he does bring in his choice scarf man can that thing probably kill my Pikachu he also told me it had final gambit um, yesterday so I, or the other day so I knew that he'd have it I didn't expect him to go for it I expected him to go for a U-turn and I just didn't want Hypno to I didn't want Pikachu to die maybe like a I don't know cross chop whatever that thing gets but um, luckily Hypno takes it because it's got massive HP in comes Muck, and this is where I do find out that um, he he is a, a PU Rain Dance team, which is really cool because I haven't seen one yet. So here he goes to the Rain Dance, and uh, at the end of the turn, I find well, I'm pretty sure that this Muck is no, actually, I'm I'm really sure that this Muck is Damp Rock purely because the rain lasts for ages, and I have to try and stall it out after this because if you guys have been paying attention, there's only one Pokemon he has left now. He goes for Mento which really doesn't bother me because my only attacking move is Seismic Toss and that's guaranteed to do uh, 50 damage to whatever he wants to bring in so honestly that, that works fine so uh, he goes down and he's now had two turns of rain so he's got six left and I have four Pokemon including Hypno left so uh, he goes for Hydro Pump and misses which is good and I go for the Toxic and miss which isn't good because that would have sped up this battle a lot more here he goes for Hydro Pump and does manage to take me out because of the rain I'm not sure if Giga Drain would, it probably would have taken me out purely because this thing's life orb. He told me Lombre special attack is only base 60, I don't know if he's mod, he's probably timid and that makes him super fast because he outspeeds my Choice Scarf, actually no it probably doesn't matter because I think Swift Swim doubles your speed, Choice Scarf only uh, increases it by 50%. So he does outspeed my Fracture and Fracture does not take that well. If I was Violet, I probably would have and I could have probably taken it out with an Outrage but I didn't even get to live. So here Persian comes in, uh, I, I don't know, I, I'm not the physical set, which probably surprises him a little, that's why he probably goes for Giga Drain. Uh, it doesn't take me out, which is nice, but he obviously wanted to get a bit more health back. I'm Silk Scarf, because I couldn't find my other life orb, I probably should have found it somewhere, but honestly, I've, it doesn't do too bad, I don't, well, he's, no, he's life orb, I was going to say, if he's a Violite, that would be a lot, but I mean, I couldn't set up a nasty plot, which really sucked. So now it's down to Lombre versus Pikachu. Now Pikachu is obviously not going to be able to take a uh, Hydro Pump in the rain. So uh, this is just where the battle gets. He gets really salty at this point. He misses the Hydro Pump and then Pikachu uses Fly. 
This is thumbnail material right here. The rain finally stops. I could have gone for the vault tackle and then end uh, and end the distance stuff. But there you go, guys. A flying Pikachu kill for the win. I promised it for you guys, and you guys got it. Thank you, Luke LS93, for battling me. It was a really fun battle. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. Check him out on Twitter. I don't know if he has YouTube. If he does, that will be in the description below. Thank you for breaking 400 subs as well. Uh, Says Awesome told me that I had, and I thought he was just joking, but he actually wasn't. Other than that, guys, I can't really think of anything else to say. So, I will see you later. Goodbye.